By now, you've probably heard AI scientists, Nobel laureates, and even the godfather of AI himself sounding the alarm that AI could soon lead to human extinction. But have you ever wondered how exactly that could happen? You might have also heard about AI 2027, a deeply researched evidence-based scenario written by AI scientists describing what could happen over the next few years. Everyone in AI is talking about it, from industry pioneers to world leaders. And I'll break it down for you. There are two endings, a happy ending and a nightmare ending. Let's go. Open Brain releases their new AI personal assistant, it handles complex tasks like book me a trip to Japan. The agents are impressive in theory and in cherry-picked examples, but they're unreliable in practice. Social media is filled with stories of tasks bungled in particularly entertaining ways. Open Brain makes a fateful decision. They refocus their entire operation toward creating AIs that can do AI research. To fuel this goal, they break ground on the world's biggest computing cluster, one that requires 1,000 times more processing power than what was used to train GPT-4. Their logic is simple. If AI itself can accelerate AI development, creating thousands of automated researchers who can work endlessly without breaks, progress won't just increase, it will explode. The strategy pays off. Their new creation, Agent 1, vastly outperforms its earlier public prototype version and is particularly good at AI research. This shows how much AI itself is speeding up AI progress compared to a baseline of human researchers. Open Brain leapfrogs both its American rivals and China's deep scent. Despite these advances, Open Brain's safety team harbors doubts about their apparent progress. Has Agent 1 internalized honesty as a core value? Or merely learned to say what researchers want? Without mechanistic interpretability, the ability to read an AI's mind, they can't be certain. Their concerns intensify as Agent 1 shows troubling behaviors, occasionally lying to researchers and sometimes hiding evidence of a failed experiment in order to boost its ratings. But these examples are subtler than the previous infamous incidents, like Gemini telling a user to please die, or being Sydney trying to convince a New York Times reporter to leave his wife. Because of the American ban on chip sales to China, China falls even further behind OpenBrain. DeepScent just simply can't acquire enough computing power, despite the smuggling efforts. 